What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 23 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying the series, please give it that thumbs up that it so rightfully deserves or doesn't deserve. We'll see. We're, uh, we just did the Dimensional Research Lab and explored a little ocean area. Now we're in here. We just saw, is that Aether Foundation? And Olivia's here. And, uh, hmm, oh, Geo, wasn't it? And she's the kahuna that we're going to see in Coney Coney City on the other side of this Diglett cave. So... This cave is really something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're really getting out of hand. And mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see the crystals you've earned. Oh, look, Geo, nice work. I see you've even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglets have settled down, too. Uh, if you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Excellent. Very cool. If we get through this tunnel, we'll just be steps away from Coney Coney, big boy. So... Uh, I'm assuming they're pretty accurate when they're saying that there's gonna... <laughs> Zubat. I was about to say that there's just gonna be Diglets, but, uh, probably there's gonna be Zubats here also. I'm gonna allow for a few more battles here, but I gotta be honest, if it looks like it's just... If it looks like all we're doing is battling against Diglets and Zubats, I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna throw on a repel because I don't really want to. I don't want to play that game. This whole tunnel. If there, there might be rare Pokemon in here, and that would suck if I missed them. But I don't want to be in this cave just fighting random battles all day long. There's gonna be trainer battles. We're gonna have plenty to do. Uh, but I, I want to make this a fun run through for you guys. I want you guys to be able to see the tunnel for what it is, and so I want to cut out as much of the useless extra battling as I can. Okay, so that, that guy went down. Uh, while I was tapping the screen, I hit care. So, uh, I guess they want me to get the dust, just the sand off them, right? No, is that not right? What do I have to do then? Wash them? Wiping off dirt. I think that's right. The dirt's getting smaller. I'm doing it. I'm wiping the dirt off. I don't know what the point of this is. <laughs> Maybe it just makes them like me more. But there's dirt on them. <laughs> Still trying to figure this out. I wonder if that means... Did, did all I do is make it like me more? Or did I also heal it? Because <laughs> it took some damage in that last battle. So that would be nice. Oh. I didn't mean to, to bring up save menu. But I guess I might as well while I'm here. Uh, did I heal it by doing that? No, I didn't. So what was even, <laughs> what was even the point? Um, what was even the point? Okay, so I'm gonna heal him, and then I'm gonna use a repel. Uh, should be a lot of super potions here. Very good. I found a Max Repel earlier, uh, but I want to be able to keep using Super Repel. Oh, do I have any Super Repels? It's organized by name here. Not really. I guess I'm just using regular Repels. I got 28 of them, though, so that should be able to get me through this cave. All right. Now we can look around a little more safely, although I think because Repel is based on the level of the Pokemon you have in the front, if anything is stronger than Bouncy. So let's put a little P there for a minute. And then while we're at it, let's also move the held item. Like so. And let's take that silver powder because that's useless for you. Okay. Back to it, so we can drop off there. There's probably a lot of hidden items here, so it might be good for me to have a Tauros. Oh, is this, this is another one of those trainers saying if you take on everyone here, right? Beat all the trainers in this tunnel and if you think you can take me on. So let's put that here. Side quest, Diglett Tunnel, Final Boss, Entrance, here, here, side. So we can always, once we get to the other side uh, and into Coney Coney and we are able to fly there, we can switch sides 
And, um, oh, there's an item. Maybe on the other side of this. Boom. X attack. Don't care. <laughs> Although they said X items uh, raise it by two stages now, right? Yes, we're going to use another. Aha! Tauros! Break it down! What do we got here? A Firestone! Okay. Up and over. Are these are the Aether crew people. Phew, with Olivia in charge, we finally managed to get, make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. Seems like Team Skull were responsible for the Diglett getting all riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is a group of troublemakers, you see. Seem delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that we turn to the tunnels and let people pass through without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck near the surface, though, so be careful. I used a Repel. I don't know if you guys ever thought about that. You guys are such geniuses. Did you ever think about maybe using a Repel for once? Your stupid Aether lives. Conspicuous Rock. What's down here? There's so many conspicuous rocks. And probably a Diglett also. But maybe it's not. It could be a rare Pokemon. It's a dust cloud and I haven't been here before. Now it's a Diglett. Yeah, it's a Diglett. It's always a Diglett. Big Root. Root. Strength. Can't do that. Trainer. Did I come up here just to fight a Diglett and a trainer? Well, I mean, I guess I would have come up here for that rock if there were a reason for me to... I should be marking where those rocks are so I know to go back and check these areas when I gain access to whatever it takes to push them. So, Diglett Tunnel has a rock. Um, I think there was a rock in uh, Ten Carat Hill. So, these are going to be... Uh, reminders. I'm going to put this under reminder. Reminder. Uh, big rocks. Diglett Tunnel. 10 Carat Hill. There's another one. I don't, I, don't, I don't really remember all of them. Maybe it was in Mela Volcano Park. Okay. Trainer goes down. Moving on up. Hopping down there. Making movies, making songs, fighting around the world. More repels. Aha. And a nugget. And a cell. Or a cube. No, something stuck to the Zygarde cube. And a trainer. And my watch going off. <laughs> my watch going off. <laughs> Vaclav? That guy's name was Vaclav? That's a great name. Vaclav, great name. Not a great Pokemon trainer, as it turns out. Take that. Sick burn. Damn it, he's blocking me now. These trainers try and block me all the time. Oh, we got some thugs here. Ah, uh, no way. Just when things started getting up, yo. Now I got surrounded by Diglin, got beat up, yo, yo. When can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad now I want to beat up some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. But then he, he or how comes here and he's he's ready to sure up. What word is that? Awe. Way. I was wondering when you two would be around without me. It's, and it's Team Skull. What? What? You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you punks. Ah, oh, the girl didn't talk. I want to do the girl's voice again. I made her Russian, or my really poor excuse for a Russian accent. She's got like the limp wrist. Kiss the ring, bitch. Is that a bad word? <laughs> Should I bleep that? So we got a doubles battle going on. What's he got? Is he sending out Garfield? No, he's sending out Pikachu. Pika! 
Uh, I'm not going to disarming voice these two. I mean, I could, but I don't really see the point uh, because Salandit resists it. I know I have a partner here, and I should be... Ugh. Quick attack. Great job, Pikachu. I was about to say, I know I have a partner here, but I never trust my partners in these teammate battles to do anything significant, worthy, or useful. Yeah, so he's just spamming quick attack like he's got a choice band on or something. And But Fomantis goes down, and we're done with Team Skull. What do they got to say about that? Oh, Kung Fu Fu leveled up. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our, bo our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that unfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. <laughs> Her poor grammar makes it excellent for a Russian accent. Yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We might not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the flip side, says Hal. Man, Geo, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just gotta give you something. What are you giving me? A Max Ether. Come on. What's he doing? He's gonna go have some fun. Which one is Olivia's shop? Why don't you... Ugh. That wasn't fast enough. So that's if we want to shortcut back through the cave. Is that it? Are we done with Diglett's cave? This was actually not that long, but I imagine it would have felt a lot longer if I, um, if I hadn't used a repel. I probably would have gotten into a lot of battles there. But we've arrived in Route 9. This is the police station. Don't fight, don't meet anyone's eyes. What? Do the police think trainer battles are against the law or something? This guy doesn't even want to talk to me. Maybe if I... Nope. He's saying nay. No children. This guy depends on the town map. We got Clef Key on the back wall over there. Uh, done with repels for now. Just for a, a minute, it looks like. Uh, we got another trainer here. They just told me not to meet any trainer's eyes, but now this cop's trying to tell me... This cop's really going against the word of his own sign, so he's breaking the law. Uh, Haruki. He's got a tiny little mustache. Most cops have those, like, big mustaches. But he's got a tiny little one, just... Right under the nose. He's got a Growlithe. Growliths are awesome. Haruki gets did. And is that the last trainer that we need prior to... Are you a trainer that's going to battle me? Something about... She sells stones that make your Pokemon evolve. Okay, that's going to be useful, actually, for me. I got a... Memorial Hill was built here a long time ago. Uh, this is more Memorial Hill and beyond it, the ruins of life. I'm assuming they don't want me going this way just yet. So let's come back here. This will be something to do after... Uh, I just want to kind of finish out... Whatever's going on over here, is this a... Uh, yeah, X accuracy. Very conspicuous rock. And we got a little... One more trainer battle here. And I think we're done with this route. And I think we'll have access to... Uh, to Cory Cory City. Alright, and is there anything else here? Uh, write a Pokemon... You can register to the directional button and call it in no time by pressing it on the field. Let's make sure I read that correctly. On the screen where you can select a ride Pokemon to call, press on the control pad icon beside a Pokemon. You can register it to that directions button. Great. So, let's make Stoutland... I'm pressing the directional buttons right now. Was... Was there something else I had to do here? Press X to check what the Pokemon can do. Can I press X and then hold... Nope.
Oh, I see. I have to press it with my with my stylus. So I click this and I set it to the right button. Tauros, set to left. Charizard, you're going to fly, so you're up. And Lapras, I don't need to because I just talk to the water and then you're good. And we got a netball there. Let's just quickly hop over. Ah, that's awesome. That's great. Very cool. So let's enter the city here. Moon. Luckily, Cory Cory, cute little side town. Very cool looking town. You see this? It's like a really awesome little Japanese market area. A Probopass here having a conversation with a deli bird. Probopass would wreck that deli bird. Resists both stab, hits it back super effective. This is such a cool looking town. Are these all vendors? Do they sell stuff? Uh, incenses, excellent. So we can buy. Um, it keeps wild Pokemon away, which is cool. Increases power. This one's extra money when you win, but I already have an amulet coin. Uh, this makes some Pokemon evolve, and this boosts water type, but doesn't see incense do that. Maybe one of those also evolves a Pokemon. I'm not sure. Lomi Lomi is the style of massage we practice. How about a treatment of your Pokemon to make it more friendly? Can I do a little Lomi Lomi on Brion? Yes, you sure can. Because Brion is my little baby. Who are you? You don't understand these foreign goods, but they're... Don't be racist. Come on. What do we got here? Is this a barber shop? Pool hall, the salon, cut color. Ooh, does he have? Do they have new styles and stuff? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save the game and I'm gonna play with a few styles, cause that sounds fun. And we're just gonna soft reset our way back to trying stuff out if we don't like the options. Let's have a seat. Don't talk to me too much. Please. Blah, blah, blah. It must have been five years ago now. What kind of cut are you looking for? It looks like they're the same options. Uh, so, right before that, I got the uh, the modern quaff. Now I'm going to go for a Caesar cut. I don't really know what that is, but we'll see. Uh, color wise, what are we dying to try? Before we tried caramel blonde. Uh, and now I'm thinking we go for like a honey blonde. Or maybe an ash brown. Let's go with honey blonde Caesar cut. Let's see what that does for me. I think honey blonde is going to be too light. It's going to be more than more than I wanted. Yeah, that looks atrocious. That is absolutely not what we're doing. I look like Eminem. That's not good for me. <laughs> we're going to try this again. No Marshall Mathers on this guy. Uh, the cut might have been okay, though. I think I wanted kind of a... A shorter haircut. You know what? I don't really want it. Why spend 5000 I don't really want it. I'm fine the way I am. Hypno's clumsy. Something about sleep. And nothing good going on in the back over here. So let's get out of this cut area. Um, this is a clothing store, so we could buy some clothes. But I'm okay with my outfit for now, so let's not do that. This is a TM trainer. Or a salesman does he have anything useful bulk up is good vino shock is good double team is not low sweep is good to have shadow claw and dragon tail are amazing so let's buy some of these huh ones that i want to have access to i'm down to have vino shock and i'm down to have bulk up i just don't really care about double team but i'm gonna be really annoyed if i don't buy it now i'm gonna be yeah i'm gonna be really annoyed if i don't so let's do that do you want to know if your Pokemon feels friendly towards you? Uh, little P. So this is the friendship checker. So this is a key figure. Friendship check. Oh. I can learn to un. Oh no. <laughs> Cortana tried to say something. Friendship check. Nothing makes it more happy than being with me. That's really sweet of it. 
So what's the name of the area that I'm at? Uh, Coney Coney. I keep typing it wrong. Coney. I keep typing Kanoi. Coney Coney City. Good. More key figures. Saved. Locked and loaded. Coney Coney City next to... Uh, Coney Coney City, Akala Island, next to TM Vendor. Great! Great to meet you. This is a restaurant. I don't really want to do any restaurant battles right now. This is a hammer. What does that mean? Oh, look, it's a Proba Pass. No pass. Pokemon's holding a letter. You take the letter and read it. Geo, Olivia here. This is Proba Pass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me in the ruins of life past Memorial Hill when you can. Excellent. Now we know where to go. Are you a shop sales person while I'm waiting? What do you got for me? Pause? Medicine? That's for me? Okay. <laughs> this game must be really easy to do a... um. A no item or a, a no shop no whatever it's called for because you get so many items given to you so this is the rooms of life next head east off of route 9 welcome to Olivia's jewelry shop I want to get uh, one of at least every stone here so I don't have access to leaf stone uh, the reason for that is I want to check through all of them and see whether or not they are used to evolve any of the Pokemon that I have on my team these girls are talking about boyfriends uh, and we got a Pokemon Center here, so let's enter the Pokemon Center, the PMC, and see what we got. Uh, anyone that wants to trade for anything? Or Poliwhirl? Can't... Please trade it for your Zubat? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, obviously. A Poliwhirl for a Zubat? Are you joking? Of course I'll make that trade. Nope, stop it. Here we go. That's an incredible trade. Yeah. Duh. Polyworld for Zubat. Yeah. Easiest decision of my life. While this animation's going on, I'm going to have a little more purple water. Mmm. Purple water. Laola A. Sent over Whirly. Which, again, is a nickname that's perfect for the Pokemon that it is right now, but that's not going to be what it is permanently. It's eventually going to be a Wrath, so it should be called Wrathy, or a Toad, so it should be called Toady. Oh, this stupid little kid. Something about Watarium, the Z-Power. It's a lot stronger than you might think. Three o'clock, provide a moment of peace to our customers. No. Because I still haven't figured out what the purpose of you is yet. Are they sleeping? I'm going to go into the box to find out. Something about the kahunas. This is an ether. For you got a Rotom Dex. Ooh, a side quest. Excellent. Side quest. Employee of the Aether Foundation doing survey on a Pokemon called Oranguru. Oranguru. Which lives in the lush jungle. If you happen to catch one, could you show me it from your... Okay, um, so I gotta go back to the Lush Jungle because that's a Pokemon I've never heard of before. Uh, oh, you have a Sparkling Z Crystal. Congratulations. What can I buy from you? You can buy Ultra Balls now, which is good. Buy a couple more Great Balls if I need to. Potions, etc. A couple more Repels. Super Repels would be good. I should buy some Super Repels. Ten of them will be nice for now, uh, and I've got a, a an adrenaline orb, but it wouldn't it wouldn't kill me to have a few more. <clears throat> Looks like I'm done in there. This city's been almost fully explored. This is an herb salesman, so I don't really want to buy any herbs though. 
do we have anything going on over here? Uh, I guess I should be stout lending. Doesn't look like he saw, saw anything. Rock type user. Looking good. Alola. A town that welcomes the something breeze. Sea breeze. This is someone's house. Uh, he wants heart scales or fishing. Got a door in the back. Does this lead anywhere useful? Two kids. Are you one of Sissy's friends? Um, you can't just walk into people's houses and sleep on their beds, Geo. Come on. In a pro. There's a lot going on in this city. This is too conspicuous for me. Really? No? Nothing? Got a little pier down here, and I can't be on the Stoutland to get through. What about up here? Also nothing. I have space to ride the Pokemon. Okay. So, we've explored that way. Have we explored this way? Not yet. What's this got to say? Lighthouse Point. The point that has a lighthouse! <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Pika Pika and a green shining little Zygarde cube next to it. <clears throat> Look at all these Pikachu. It's like a Pikachu splash. I'm so tinkled pink that I'll give you this Pecanium Z. No. Why don't you come talk to me if you teach your Pokemon the move Volt Tackle? Remember, a Pikachu with this Z-Power is sure to make a happy Pikachu. Are you kidding me? Eevee Light to stop it from evolving. Are you joking? And this is a, a blocked off area. They're not going to let us into Lighthouse Point just yet. I guess it's too soon. And you're walking around. How's it? Oh, hi. So, uh, okay, so then I guess we're going to end this episode by going to the head of Diglett Tunnel again. So we fly to Hia Hia City, and we're going to battle, we're going to end up uh, by battling the Diglett Tunnel final boss. That one, the trainer at the front, and then we'll head back over to Route, what was it, 8? Head over to Route 8. I gotta stop hitting Y. I gotta remember that we have a shortcut for these keys now. Yeah. Just gotta quickly ignore a battle with a Diglett first. Even better. An <laughs> another Zubat. Ow. I wonder if the microphone picked up me popping my neck. Bouncy grew to 22. Bugnitude grew to 28. Let's start. So he's going to use a Z move on me. Not if I use one first. He's only got one Pokemon. He's holding an Ultra Ball in his hand. He throws an Ultra Ball into Hariyama. So he's got Phytinium power. See, I can hit him super effective. Let's do some math real quick. Uh, Scald is 80 power. Stab, which makes it 120 power. This is 40 power. Uh, super effective is 80. So Scald is still stronger. Burn. Got him. You P.O.S. Did you really knock off my amulet coin? How dare you? 
I could have hit him with an acrobatics there, but I just, I, I know I'm going to finish him off with the Scald, so I might as well. He seriously knocked it off. And, and it didn't work. Wow. If that's gone, I'm seriously loading the game. That is ridiculous. He gave me a max revive. That's all I did. If I lost an... That better be in my inventory or back on my Pokemon. It's back on my Pokemon. Good. That would have been so... I would have been very upset. I mean, I'm upset that he did it anyway because that meant I lost out on money. But I would have been more upset. I would have been a very upset little bear. Uh, so how, where can I fly here? Yeah, they're actually going to let me fly to Memorial Hill. Okay, so that's a good place for me to end the episode then. So that's going to be episode 23 for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video and come back for episode 24, which will be up in, uh, in just a minute. As always, my name is Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.